Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Okay, well, I have Katherine Switzer here who is going to be inducted into the New York Runners Hall of Fame. Anyway, and uh, hard to believe it's been close to 50 years since she started all of this. So, um, big thing is, what do you feel about uh, being inducted in the Hall of Fame? Of course, it's absolutely a tremendous honor, and um, the New York Roadrunners have done so much for the sport, and of course, I'll be talking about women today a lot because um, that's what I do, and um, they were always there for the women and always made it happen for us, and uh, I think one reason we're where we are today is because of them. And uh, I heard that uh, you plan to do like a 50th uh, celebration uh, next year, or, or is it this year or next year of uh, your first run? Well. This year at the induction here at the Hall of Fame is actually my 40th anniversary of winning the New York City Marathon. But in 2017, I do plan on running Boston again for the 50th anniversary of that epic moment. And, um, and we'll see. It might not be a pretty sight, but it will be heartfelt. Well, you know, you uh, definitely were the pioneer in women's running and long distance running. And now you see what it's turned in. How do you feel about where women are in the sport now and all the things that have happened for women in sports as a whole? Well, it's very, very interesting. You know, when I first started running, we were exceptional, and then now we're inclusive, and actually now there are more women runners in the United States than men. It's nothing short of social revolution. Um, we've changed the world, and we're going to continue to change the world. There's still a lot to do. That's the point, um, and that the revolution never stops. And, uh, you know, along with all that, um, and, uh, you know, you're 40th anniversary. Are you running on a Sunday? No, actually, I'm a VIP on Sunday. I'm going to be in the stands, I think, for the second time in my entire existence at the New York City Marathon. I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to watch it. So how many times have you run New York? Golly, let me think. I think I've run it five times, um, okay. but I think I broadcast it for 28 right. years. Right. And uh, well, so how is it going to feel just to be, uh, well, a special spectator? It's going to feel really great. You know, there's always a lot of pressure with broadcasting and certainly a lot of pressure to run. It's, uh, it's wonderful just to kick back and uh, watch the drama unfold and watch the glory of the autumn colors. It's fantastic. And, of course, you've done media and stuff, and, of course, we're all part of that little world of doing this. Uh, and, you know, as, we've, as it's evolved, but what do you think is the biggest challenge now of journalists following um, road running and track and field, uh, you know, amateur sports as a whole. The biggest challenge of journalists? I think the biggest challenge of journalists right now is to um, keep running diverse and interesting. Um, it's always fascinating and wonderful, but for insular publics, let's say the United States, to continually keep up interest in African athletes um, is a challenge. But it shouldn't be a challenge. They're fabulous athletes. They're wonderful and interesting people. They have personalities and lives that are as dramatic as our own. So uh, there's the challenge to the journalists. And, um, and the world will be a better place when they do it correctly. Well, um, I just want to say congratulations on all the great things you've done. You've even been an inspiration to me. I've seen all the things you've done and read about you. And I even bought a couple of your books for a couple of ex-girlfriends, <laughs> and they read them, and now they're, you're running the marathon this weekend. So you made a contribution and made the world a better place, and I thank you. And um, thankfully, and it's great the New York Roadrunners are recognizing you today for that. Thank you so much.